Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm here to address some questions around the comparative premium table we are now supplying you on your renewal notice. State and federal governments have legislated that insurers need to show an apples for apples comparison so that insurance customers can make an informed decision about their insurance purchases. The comparisons are presented on the basis of a premium for a full year of insurance cover. Usually this is the same as what you paid. What we're going to show you in this video is when the paid amount differs to the full year amount and why that happens. The comparison table is included to make it easier to understand our premiums, so you can review where the changes in your insurance costs are coming from. Sometimes it is the premium changing due to inflation, claims costs and other expenses, or it might be that government charges have been altered. Showing these changes allows the customer to make an informed decision on whether their current insurer is best for them after taking these changes into account. If you have a package type policy, the comparison is across all of the products you have selected. This could be confusing if you have made changes to your policy over the year of coverage. These policy changes could be increasing or decreasing the sum insured, trading in a vehicle for a different vehicle, moving intra or interstate, buying or disposing of some of your vehicles, adding on new covers or options, changing excess levels, and many other types of changes as well. Showing the projected annual premium of your policy, as opposed to the premium you paid over the last year, we are able to show you how any changes made during the year are taken into account. I wanted to run through some examples for you to clarify why the comparative premium may at times look quite different year to year. Traded in an old item for a new one during the year? Let's say you started the policy with a $50,000 excavator and halfway through the year you upgraded to a new one worth $75,000. Here is how the premium you pay gets worked out. With the excavator valued at $50,000 insured for one year, the premium would equal $1,200. At six months, the $50,000 excavator is sold. Therefore, $600 is refunded back to you, half of your initial premium, $1,200. At six months, you purchase a new excavator, valued at $75,000, paying a $900 premium, which is half of $1,800. Total insurance premium you paid over 12 months equals $1,500. Your renewal this year is for the $75,000 item, so we wanted to show you a like-for-like -like view for the $75,000 item, rather than against the $50,000 excavator you no longer own. Your renewal comparison table will look something like this. So even though you paid a $1,500 premium, the full year premium shown is $1,800, making the changes for your next year of cover easier to understand. Showing that in this example, your premium went up 5%, or $90. Added new items during the year? In our second scenario, you started the year with three vehicles insured. During the 12 months, two new vehicles have been added on. Here is how the premium you pay gets worked out. Three insured vehicles at outset, insured for 12 months at $5,000. One vehicle added at six months, insured for six months at $2,000. One vehicle added at nine months, insured for three months at $600. Total insurance premium you paid over 12 months is $7,800 paid for the three transactions. Your renewal this year is for five items, so we want to show you a like-for-like -like view. So even though you paid $7,800 in premiums, the projected annual premium for the total of all five items would have been $11,400. The New Year's premium is $12,084, which represents a change of 6% or $684. Your renewal comparison table will look something like this. I hope this clarifies the new information provided on your renewal notice 